But we are going to discuss the placement of um, anterior torque. And the main aspect I want to demonstrate uh, on this wire is that if you place torque anteriorly, you don't want to introduce unwanted torque in the buckle segments. So a good tip is to do what's called a goalpost bend at the end of the wire on both sides. When you do a goalpost bend or a 90 degree bend on the wire, you can see if unwanted torque is placed. Whereas it's just hard to visualize that if the wire is flat. So I'm going to put a goalpost on either side of this wire. Again, you can use stainless steel or you can use beta titanium. I prefer beta titanium, it's just easier to bend. Uh, and if you do make a wrong bend, you actually take it out without fracturing the, uh, the wire. Uh, it's much less pain for the patient because if you put torque of 20 degrees on stainless steel and then try and place it in a bracket, it really is painful to close the gate of that bracket, whereas this has some give in it. Right? So right now we have a wire that has zero torque around the wire, and I'm introducing, let's say, 20, to 20 degrees of increased torque. So in the upper arch, I might use something like this when I'm running class two elastics to prevent the detorquing of the incisors. Um, I might do this in a case that is div two to start, and in my strongest wire, I haven't expressed enough effective torque and I want to add a little bit more. In the lower arch, I can put in negative torque when I'm running class two elastics to stop my lower incisors from dumping, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the first mark is um, placed between the cuspid and the lateral on both sides. And this mark is so that you know where to start and take out the torque. The biggest error I see doctors uh, making is they will place torque here, they'll go around, and then they'll think they need to put another 20 degrees of torque in. What they end up doing is having zero, 20, then 40. And if they have 40 degrees of torque, you'll see that um, this goalpost will lean and that shows you that you've wiped in unwanted torque. The best pliers to put the torque are the tweed torquing pliers, and this is not exactly a matching set of tweed torquing pliers, but uh, we'll do for the purpose of demonstration. And there, some people call this a ribbon arch plier, a flat on flat. Um, these are the best pliers to grip the, uh, the wire. So let's show the placement of torque. So one wire, one plier, effectively grabs the wire so you don't put in unwanted torque. Uh, people say, look, do you, how do you measure the torque? Look, it's not an exact science. Um, with a bit of trial and error, you'll see the 20 degrees of torque you can visualize mm -hmm. like this, right? Um, so I'm grabbing a plier, and now I'm wiping in 20 degrees of torque. And if that catches the light, I think you can see the torque being placed. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing you should do before you go around the other side is to flatten the wire. Now, if I put this down, you can see that it's rolling. Everyone see that, right? So that means that already I have unwanted uh, uh, movements in the wire. So to take that roll out, I would come back here to see where it's riding high and just simply, at the same place I place the torque, just flatten the wire. You can see then that's lying in a, in a bit of better state now. Going back to the other side, now remember, if I was to visualize this, I have zero torque. In the area of the lateral, I now have 20 degrees of torque. Can you see that? So on this side, I'm gonna to have to take the torque out. And to take the torque out, it's a case of grabbing the uh, tweed plier and going back to where the other mark is. And this time, rather than lifting up we're just pushing down the exact same amount. If you grip that tightly and you grip this, then you can see torque being removed. So you now have zero torque, 20 degrees of torque back to zero. And you can check if it's zero torque by looking at that goalpost. If that goalpost was leading this way or leading that way, you've introduced unwanted torque. Um, again, every time you bend the wire, please go back and ensure that it's flat. If it rocks like that, you're going to introduce an unwanted cant into the equation. So place the wire flat, you can see where it's riding up. It's normally where you've made the bend because that's obviously what's caused the, uh, the wire. I normally place torque in a 1925. Okay, so for the purpose of demonstration here, we're using a lighter wire because that's all I have on the day of the course. Um, 
but the ideal wire, if you want to play extra torque, will be a 1925 wire in an 022 slot or a 1725 wire in an 018 slot. Um, now, just to show you here, there's zero torque there, but can everyone see torque has been introduced accidentally? If you've introduced torque accidentally again, grip where the torque is that you want it to stay and just bend that in, right? So you're taking the torque out. And the biggest tip I can share with doctors is make sure you cut the end of the goalpost off before you try and put that back in the mouth. Because you'll find it, you know, had a couple of doctors in New Zealand uh, that, uh, uh, having great difficulty when they were placing the wire uh, in, in the slot. So, so the big tip is to, to cut the, um, the wire on either side so that uh, that can fit in. That's just placement of anterior uh, torque in a wire. Good.